Here we are, in luscious Red Rock Canyon again. Um, let's stop by the armory and pick up some more 308 if they have it. Hey guys, you got any more 308? Oh, oh, excuse me. They tell me I'm supposed to sell you weapons. Interest? Yes, please. Please, please sell me weapons. Oh, you only have armor piercing. I see. Well, that's just fucking disappointing. Okay, I'll take, uh... I'll take four more of these, then. Yeah. Thanks. Need to get going. What you got in here? There's fucking nothing in here. Whetstone, you yeah. know. There's not, yeah. There's nothing. What's the point of even locking this? You got nothing of value here, bro. You have all the all of the value. All right, whatever. Let's go talk to the. Let's go talk to Papa Khan. Let's go speak with with Poppy Poppy Khan. Never gonna refer to him as Poppy Khan again. Oh, Poppy Khan. Come to speak to you. I'm glad our brothers Where the fuck is he? Turned home from Boulder City. Where the fuck is he? Nice nice journal, Carl. And money. Okay, I guess that's all I'll steal from you. But yeah, I stole, stole his journal. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. Hey, Regis. Uh, I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Khans? Tell me about Papa Khan. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. What did you mean about Papa's hatred poisoning his mind? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Okay. Goodbye. Until next time. Bring out the Papa. Cut off the head and the snake will die. I guess the chairman's days are numbered. I'm glad our brothers have returned home from Boulder City. Good morning, Papa. Carl's been in a shitty mood since that big explosion at the fort. Hey. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? I've come with an offer of alliance from the powder gangers at Vault 19. And what benefit would this alliance give us? Powder ganger... Oh, excuse me. The powder gangers have access to large quantities of explosives, which they'd be willing to share. Well, now, the armory could always use more firepower. Very well. Tell the powder gangers we accept their offer. However, they would still have to pass the initiation right to truly join our ranks. Who are you? You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great Khans. The Khan of Khans, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Can you tell me about your people? You want to hear the story of the great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Maybe you could give me the short version. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR, fourteen years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. What happened in Bitter Springs? When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. That doesn't sound like something the NCR would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. 
tell it to the survivors who were banished here. How did the three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. You know, one second, though, let's talk about something else. Typical. No reference for history in the younger generations. Goodbye. Farewell. I'm glad okay. Hey, you. I understand you've been invited to meet with Caesar. You should be aware of the honor you've been granted. Who are you? My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the Great Khans as a token of our alliance. What alliance? In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. What's your role in Caesar's Legion? I am one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. What does the Legion want with the Great Khans? Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Right, well, I had some other questions. Speak then. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. City snake will die. I guess the mm. chairman's days are yes. numbered. Goodbye. The first recon butchers are It's always a pleasure to see. I've come to ask the great cons to break their alliance with Caesar's Legion. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Caesar is only using you. He doesn't actually care about the great cons. Doesn't he? Caesar's representative tells a different tale. The glory of the Great Khans will be restored, and once the NCR is pushed back to California, all the land from here to the Colorado will be ours. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Okay. Well, goodbye then. Farewell. You honor the great fucker. Bye, I guess. Okay, I think we leave. Yeah. I heard you try to convince right. Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. Who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa's second in command. You might say I share your concern about Caesar. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do then? Huh? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Okay, what would convince Jack and Diane to support me? You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Alright, and what about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Okay. I will see what I can do to convince everyone. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Papa. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Um, how would I do that? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I'll keep that in mind. I would too, if I were you. 
Yeah. All right. So how do I convince Something you? Else you wanted? Uh, I like to talk more about the Great Cons Alliance with Caesar. Never mind. Fuck. Well, not sure uh, quite how to convince him, but. Talk to him. Hey, you should look at this. It's well, actually. Wait, I, there's a more there's a more entertaining way to get Carl to Caesar's get veterans murdered. Will arrive from Arizona soon, and there will be no stopping our victory. I'm wondering why you don't petition the cons for membership as a show of allegiance. Join? Oh no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. But surely a warrior in service of glorious Kaisar is the equal of any tribe's finest. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Because you know they'd come up lacking. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... Interesting opinion, Carl. I wonder what Papa Khan will say about this. You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Great Khans, hey. drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. And he's gone. He's gone. Like he wasn't even here. Good work, everybody. Drive Caesar's dog. Ah, oh, you're. Um, nothing, nothing now. Hey, Regis. Something else you wanted? I'd like to talk more. Fucking, what do I have to give you, bro? To try and push back the legion. What do I have to give you? Oh wait, there's a bunch of map markers. Oh, I see. There's like a ledger, I think. Okay, well. I'll do that at another time. For now, it's Abba Dabba Honeymoon time. Which means it's time to go get paid. Yeah, paid. Hello, Diane. Hey, seems like you've been making a lot of friends around here. Yeah, I'm a very charismatic gal. What can I say? So... Um, finish the Crimson Caravan run. It's Great. Easy. Here's your payment. Um, any new jobs? Okay, if you want a little work, I think I can find you something. What have you got? You up for something challenging? Uh, I've got a ship of Jet and Psycho yes. that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at both. Yes, of course. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitching. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the vault, well, they're outside for a reason. Here's the package. Good luck. Your payment will be waiting when you get back. Yes, it's time to break the fiends. But first, about the alliance with Caesar's Legion. Anders got back a little while before you did. He told me what happened. If that's how the Legion treats my people, I don't want any part of them. Nice. Okay, well, bye then. Sleep to save. Oh, now, now we can go have some fun. Let's go destroy the mutants. So I was thinking, maybe it would make more sense to go to Vault 3 and uh, kill all the fiends. But I figured since I'm already about, you know, part of the ways towards Good Springs, and I'm going to loop around that way to go to Black Mountain, it just... Eh, it's not kind of... it's just not, not worth it. Um, so we're just going to go to Black Mountain and uh, kill everybody. And then we'll go to Vault 3, I guess. We got options here. But this is this is the route I'm taking. This is where things start fucking moving in this game. Finally. Finally moving. Can't tell if that's alive. Deathclaw or not. It's not moving. But I can't tell if it's just sitting there. No, I think that's dead. Yeah, I think that's a corpse. Oh, 
I'm also going the wrong way. Which is nice. This damn canyon is so deceptive. But I could actually I could actually run and finish why can't we be friends? So why not do that? Have some prickly pear fruit, buddy. You've earned it. Yeah, let's run down here and finish this stinky little quest. Real quick. And is the door... Yes, the door stays open. Nice. Okay, fellas. I have the quest up, right? Uh... Why can't, why can't we be friends? Why why can't we just be friends? From Papa Khan? Yes, you can join them, but he says you would all still have to pass the initiation, right? I'd rather not, but fair enough. We'll do it. Goodbye. See you around. See ya. Except. Hang on. Put this on. Put this on the weapon wheel. Except. You're not gonna see us around. Cue the carnage, boys. We're going on a fucking rampage. Rampage. Whew. Oh man, I'm taking damage from all sides. I got four sunset sarsaparillas. I don't give a fuck what the consequences are. I just drank four- I just stopped and drank four sunset sarsaparillas. Holy fucking- oh my god. Alright, I didn't want to have to do this. But it appears my hand is being forced. It's so, alright, everybody take your medicine. Just- Uh oh, uh oh. That's not ideal. Okay, okay, just pull back, just pull back. Everybody just, just, just pull back. Got any buff out? Come on, I know I have to have buff out. Buff out. Okay. Okay. Holy shit! Uh. <laughs> that was totally fucking awesome. Whatever. I'll save it for, um... What, whatever it is. What it's called. What, after... After I finish the, the fiends off. We'll go to Vault 19. We'll get my fucking revenge on those powder gangers. I'll get my fucking revenge. Oh, but I have four Sunset Sarsaparillas I need to drink. <gasps> I got a star cap! I got a star cap. I got a fucking star cap. There's definitely a death claw up here. There's 125% chance of a death claw being here. He's up here. He's waiting for, for some idiot like me to come up on him. I can assure you it is a death claw. It's a giant rad scorpion. It's not a death claw at all. It's this fucking guy. Wow, I sure feel like a fucking schmuck. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I'm going the right way. At the very least, I have that. I know where I'm going. Don't look at me. Fuck you and your bottles, bro. That's how I feel about you. That's how I feel about Good Springs. Fuck your bottles. Oops. Oops. Hey! Trudy! I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Yeah. Me too. Uh, show me what you have for sale. You only have fucking dirty water? Are you serious? Be careful. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Just fucking grinds my gears. I swear, if Chet doesn't have some purified water... I'm gonna shoot somebody. And it, there's a good chance it's gonna be him. Show me what you have for sale. Um, four hollow points, really? Oh, he has one purified water. 
Well, whoop did he fucking d. Right, you, you, you escaped getting shot today. Today. <laughs> today only. Okay. Clearly I need to drink this purified water. And then I'm gonna go to Good Spring Source. And, uh, just get free water anyway. So this is actually a waste of caps. I wish I could have my 15 caps back, but... That's just how the fucking cookie crumbles in this world, I guess. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm being so vulgar. It's just water, bro. Water, bro. Oh, hang on, there's some- definitely some geckos that need to be, uh, exterminated. Where are they? Okay, I guess they're not here. Never mind. Just drink- just drink the fucking water. Yeah. That's that good stuff. Yummy, yummy. Okay, and now we begin the long and treacherous road back to Black Mountain for, like, the third or fourth time. I really like Black Mountain for some reason. Wait, hang on. There's geckos. Where are these geckos, bro? It keeps saying they're here. And they ain't here. They're somewhere. Somewhere imaginary. Imaginary geckos. Making me imagine geckos? Why would you do that to a man? Sleep in the bed. Save the game. What up, tire seats? It's nice. Nice little cozy little fire. Cozy little, cozy little, cozy little campfire. Tire seat campfire. Cozy. Oh, there, there's more fucking powder gangers. I swear, there's just always more of them whenever I come over here. Don't, don't try it. He tried it. I killed both of them. I literally said, don't try it. And what does he do? First thing he does, tries it. And that's how you end up with a grenade to the face. Look at this dude up here. Thinks he thinks he's being clever. But he's just standing out in the middle of the road. Come on. I'm used to it, Vegas. This shit, this is easy mode. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy wheezy. What? Easy peasy world PC. What, what the hell? Oh, hang on. Oh my god, really? You're gonna bring out the, the 32? Well, say goodbye to your limbs. Alright, you don't get the same fate as him. You should be lucky. But unfortunately, I'm just gonna shoot your head off. Whoa! What the hell was that about? He... fucking blew up. It was awesome. And I know there's more dudes up here. Wait, that 9mm pistol can repair. Maria. Maria needs to be repaired. There it is. Um. Hey, buddies. It's just, just. Oh, he's crippled. And he's dead. He's crippled, then he's dead. A tragedy in two acts. How do gangers infamy gained? There's no more infamy to be gained from the powder gangers. They are as low as it gets in society. In post-apocalyptic society, who are you? Hopefully not a dirty, filthy powder ganger like these fucking morons. This is what happens to filthy, smelly powder ganger. Damn it. Fuck. Where are they at? The powder gangers have evaded death. Oh, no, Boone's going after him. Boone on the goon squad. 
Boone Squad. No, actually, Boone has given up. Boone is no longer giving chase. Smart play. I'm a veteran in his old age. It's fine. It's, it, you know, it's it's just it's 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 really it's just fine. I didn't need Boone anyways. What I need Boone for is the the upcoming siege of one of the hardest locations in the game. Not the hardest. Not the hardest. Come on. Come on. It's definitely pretty fucking hard though. I'll give you that. Um I am back. Chomps. How are things? You need something? Never mind. Well, I actually don't care, Chomps. No, I just I just don't care. Thought about what you said, I heard it, yeah, processed it, listened. The words came out of you, you know. I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the words. They were perfectly fine words. I just don't give a shit. I think... I think that's the conclusion that I reached, is... Just... Just don't fucking care. Why am I being so mean to Chomps for no reason right now? What did Chomps do to deserve the slander? Nothing. Oh my god, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Here they come. My favorite part of going to Hidden Valley at any point in the game. Oh my god. Oh my... Yes. Come on. I got a 5.56 five, pistol. I can do this all fucking day. There it is. Any more? No? Does the sandstorm really need to be going at 6 p.m.? Like, I think that's just kind of, kind of ominous, like, you're giving it away at that point. You're gonna die. What up, barrel cactus fruit? Alright. This is it, guys. This is what's gonna to separate the children from the chuds. We are going to kill all of the mutants. You might be thinking, uh, all of the mutants? Yes, no, all, all of them. Except for the, the good ones. Uh, the good ones like Neil over here. I'm gonna save the game real quick. Nice. So we have a good save there. Hey, Neil. Uh, what makes this a dangerous place? You must have heard a radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Sounds like you've had enough of Tabitha. Would you had some help? Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's going to be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Yeah, that's probably true. Should I drug up now? Yeah, maybe I should try one of these slashers. Does slasher and psycho stack? Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Eh, give it a steady. Got any rebound? Oh, I've got rebound. 